Yo, what is up guys, Sam Pack here, back with another video, and today we're gonna take a look at the brand new Zoom 65 V2.5. So big shout out to Melotrix for sending this keyboard out. So this is the Zoom 65 V2 2.5. This is actually my first Zoom 65 keyboard and I've actually never seen or typed on the previous versions in person. So this is gonna be a kind of a review from someone who's never owned one before. And this keyboard really pioneered the whole budget premium category where it's still affordable to buy but yet it still feels like a premium keyboard. And I already know a lot of you guys are scratching your guys head of why this is called the V2 2.5 and I'll get into all of that but with that said let's get started. So what did they change in the board? So there's actually no major change but rather they added more features. This keyboard still has a lot of the same elements as the V2, like the case design, the same gasket mounting styles with the feet, but this round they added four new special edition colors, which are the E white, SE orange, SE lavender, and this is the SE black. And these were all the same color SEs from the Zoom 75. So pretty much think of this as a round two of the V2, but with more color options and a little bit more new features. So looking at the case design, first thing you guys can notice is the high gloss gold chamfers around the case. I think this adds a nice pop to the board, making it stand out. And three of the SE versions will be anodized and they'll come with an aluminum bottom. And another change they made was to have a nightlight knob, just like the zoom pad. So basically the knob will have a see-through RGB that will provide a visual feedback and also gives a nice aesthetic. I don't have it on this version because this is a prototype, but the mass productions will come with this by default. And lastly, this PCB has been upgraded to a Trimo PCB, meaning you can connect this keyboard via Bluetooth, 2.4 gigahertz receiver, or in wired mode. So that's why I think they called it the V2 2.5 because there's no major changes in terms of design of the keyboard, but they added some new features to it, providing more color options, and as well as opening up another round for people to purchase. But other than that, it's the same Zoom 65 V2 that we all know and love. So for the build, I'm using a polycarbonate plate with PCB and case foam. I think polycarbonate builds pair up very nicely with PCB foam, and that's why I like using them together. And I use case foam for this build because there was a little bit of case ping that I wanted to reduce, so that definitely helped it out a bit. And I built this board with my good friend Tristan's new switches, and you guys probably know him as Captain Sterling, but these are the Ice Latte switches. These are linear switches that look absolutely amazing. I really love the color combination of the switch, and if you guys look closely, it has a translucent polycarbonate housing with sparkle specks on it. And it has a nice cream color long pole palm stem. And these switches have a 55 gram bottom out with a two stage 20 millimeter gold spring. And also these are already hand lubed with 205 ready to be put inside of a board. And for me, having hand lubed switches are a must when I'm purchasing switches because nobody got time for that anymore. So here's a sound test of the Zoom 65. Like for real, this keyboard really surprised me. I don't know if it's the switches or the overall design of the board, but this keyboard is super satisfying to type on and I'm a huge fan of the spacebar. It sounds nice and loud and has a really good resonance to it. The alphas are as expected from a polycarbonate build, a little bit flat tone because of the plate material, but for an everyday daily driver keyboard, I think this sounds really great. And also one thing I wanna clarify when I'm talking about if a keyboard is flat tone, I'm not saying it as a negative way, but I'm just trying 
trying to describe how it would sound as if you were hearing it in real life. But flat tone doesn't mean it's a bad keyboard at all. It's just a characteristic that comes from certain builds. Some people like it, some people don't. But yeah, flat does not mean bad. So the group buy starts at September 19th through October 10th, and delivery time is expected end of December of this year. So the SE version will start at $199, and the EE version will start at $175. And Melatrix will also have this Soul Land series as well, which will feature three keyboards that will come fully assembled along with keycaps, artisans, desk mat, and case. And this will be priced at $215. All my affiliate links will be in the description down below. And if you guys do use my links, it'll help me as a small content creator to bring you guys more videos just like this. But that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you guys think you guys will pick this up. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.